Levels of data measurement Nominal Ordinal Interval Ratio Data may be defined as information which are expressed qualitatively, or quantitatively. They represent the values of characteristics of the population. Here is an illustration showing some variables, or the characteristics, and the corresponding data samples, or sample values, for each variable. For the variable sex, data may be male, or female. For the variable race position, the data values can be first, second, or third. For body temperature, some values can be 37, 38, or 39 degrees Celsius. Distance traveled, may have values such as 1 km, or 2.5 km, and so on. The four levels of data measurement are nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. The first two levels, nominal and ordinal, are considered qualitative data. While the last two levels, interval and ratio, are considered quantitative data. Nominal level data numbers are used to classify or categorize. These qualitative data describes names or identify the elements of a population. The numbers or score have no size or magnitude. An example is the data for the variable sex or gender. The number 0 may be assigned to the value male, while the number 1 for female. The numbers 0 and 1 do not represent any numerical value, they are used simply for classification. Another example is employment classification. The numbers 1, 2, and the third of may be assigned to the nominal data such as administrative staff construction worker, and manufacturing worker, respectively. Lastly, eye color characteristic can have nominal data values such as brown, blue, gray, and green. And these can have numerical assignments of 1, 2, 3, and 4 respectively. One important thing about nominal data is that it makes no sense to average them, even if you can. The number assignments is completely arbitrary, so the average could be anything, and thus has no information content. Ordinal level data numbers are used to indicate rank or order. This qualitative data incorporates an ordered position or ranking of elements of a population. The relative magnitude of numbers is meaningful, but the differences between numbers are not comparable. An example is the data for the variable types of soda. The numbers 1, 2, and 3 may be assigned to the values such as diet cola, regular cola, and fruit soda, respectively. The numbers 1, 2, and 3 shows the rank of the type of soda based on consumer preference. Another example is the data for the position within an organization. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 may be assigned to the different positions. These numbers shows the rank of the every position within the organization. This next example is an illustration that shows the order of finish of the contestants in a race. Their relative positions such as first place, second place, third place, and soon, provides ordinal level data. 
A well-known example of ordinal data are those generated from rank responses in Likert type survey questions. Notice that the categories within a variable have a natural rank order. However, the distances between the categories are uneven, or unknown. Here are some examples of ordinal data from responses to Likert type questions. For socioeconomic status, data can be low income, middle income, and high income. They may have ordinal level number assignments such as 1, 2, and 3, respectively. Another is educational level. Notice that in both examples the category values within a variable have a natural rank order. But, the distances between the categories cannot be simply presumed to be equal, or the same. Other examples include language ability, and frequency of physical exercise. Again, take note that there is a clear order to the category, ODA data, but we cannot say that the difference between never, and rarely, is exactly the same as that between sometimes, and often. Interval level data numbers shows the order, and direction, and they also show the exact difference in the value. Also, the location of origin, or the zero, is arbitrary, and not absolute. Some examples include temperature, calendar time, and standardized test which all have interval level data. Notice, that the differences between the values are exact. And, all of these do not have absolute zero. This means that a zero value on temperature, do not mean absence of heat. Zero on calendar time, is not absence of time. And a value of zero in IQ test, does not mean absence of intelligence. The gathered data from individual Likert type questions are treated only as ordinal level because for the individual questions, the exact differences between the items aren't evenly spaced, or clearly defined. But if the data is computed from the overall Likert scale, they are treated as interval level. In the overall Likert scale, it is a composite score made from adding answers to four or more questions. While a single Likert item technically produces ordinal level data, many Likert items can be treated as interval level data. This means you may compute a mean, standard deviation, and confidence interval. This is the highest level of data measurement. Ratio level data numbers shows the same properties of interval data such as order, direction, and the exact difference in the value. And, the location of origin, or the zero, is absolute. This is a quantitative data where there is a true zero, and equal intervals between neighboring points. A zero on a ratio scale means there is a total absence of the variable you are measuring. This means when the data equals zero, there is none of that variable. Height is a ratio variable, because the intervals between numbers are comparable, and there is an absolute zero for height. And, it makes sense to say that a person six feet tall, is twice as tall as a person who is three feet tall. This shows that the ratio of two measurements has a meaningful interpretation. Weight is another ratio variable. A zero weight means there's no weight. The values of weight are also comparable since neighboring points such as 1, 2, 3, and so on have equal intervals. Others examples of ratio variables are population, length, area, and volume. Monetary variables, such as sales, 
price, revenues, and expenses are also examples of ratio variables. Concentration and temperature in Kelvin also give ratio level data. To summarize, nominal data numbers classify or categorize. Ordinal data numbers indicate rank or order. Interval data shows order, exact difference in the value, and zero is arbitrary or not absolute. Ratio data shows order, exact difference in the value, and the zero is absolute.